What up, YouTube? Um, this is my first official video, and I have to say it's a little weird talking to myself since I know that hardly anyone will watch this, but I wanted to go ahead and try and answer the question that I have received most, which is um, how to determine your own calorie goal in order to lose weight. So the first thing that you need to determine is um, how many calories you need to not lose weight or gain weight. You need to determine your maintenance calories. Um, so the way you're going to do that is you need to first um, find your BMR or your basal metabolic rate. That is the amount of calories that your body uses just perpetuating itself. If you laid in bed all day and didn't move a muscle, how many calories would your body use just pumping blood, um, you know, expanding your lungs, that kind of thing. So you'll find your BMR with either this complicated formula, I'll put right here, um, or you can Google BMR calculator and input your height, your weight, your age, um, I think that's it, oh, and your gender, and it'll give you a number. And then you will take that number and multiply it by one more variable. Now this variable, it depends upon how active you would describe yourself. If you describe yourself as completely sedentary, you'll multiply your BMR by 1.2. If you describe yourself as lightly active, that means working out like three times a week, you would multiply your BMR by 3.75. If you describe yourself as moderately active, working out about five times a week, you would multiply your BMR by 1.55. This number is your caloric maintenance goal. Um, for me, that number is 2112. Um, so then you take that number, your maintenance number, and you will create a caloric deficit based upon that. So if you want to lose, let's say, a pound a week, a pound equals 3,500 calories. So you need to eat 3,500 calories less than your maintenance goal. So we're going to take 3,500 divide that by seven, seven days a week, and we will get 500 calories. So 500 calories less than 2112 for me is gonna be 1612 calories per day in order for me to lose a pound a week. So for you, obviously, it'll be different depending upon your height, your weight, etc. cetera. An even easier way to determine this would just be to download MyFitnessPal or any other calorie counting app and input your information in the settings and it will shoot out a goal for you um, it, based upon its own algorithm, which takes into the account the same things. So it just really depends on if you wanna be a geek and figure it out yourself, which I did. Um, <laughs> so you can too, if you wanna use the formula that I wrote below. Um, so other than that, the calorie question, my, the other question that I've been getting a lot is how to determine portion sizes. So for portion sizes, if you're eating prepackaged food, it's pretty simple. You look at the suggested serving size and then determine whether or not that's enough for you, that's not enough for you, and multiply the calories in your head. So if a serving is half a cup and it's for 100 calories, you pour out half a cup and you think to yourself, well, that's nothing. You pour out another half a cup, so now all of a sudden you're eating 200 calories. So is that enough or not? You just have to adjust based upon how much you think you need to eat and if whatever item you're eating is worth like worth the amount of calories for you. Um, it really, like calorie restriction really teaches you kind of more like the value of food. For me, it really stopped one of my biggest problems, which was boredom eating. So, or just like kind of, you know, you're sitting there snacking and not even realizing that you're consuming calories. Okay, so a little bit of a tangent. So, uh, if you're not eating prepackaged food and you're eating something fresh, like let's say, I don't know, like strawberries or something. So, what I would do is I would go to my, you know, strawberries in my fridge or whatever, get them out. I would take out the amount that I feel like eating, like that I think looks good. Then I would put it on my food scale and see what it comes up as. Like, let's say, you know, 100 grams or whatever. I'd go into my fitness pal, I'd search strawberries, I'd input 100 grams, and I'd see how many calories they came up as. If it was, um, like, you know, a lot less than I expected, like hardly anything, then it's like, ooh, I can eat more, you know, and you add on you know, another whatever, how many more? 100 calories, 100 grams or whatever, until you get to a calorie number that you're comfortable with. Or, 
Conversely, you find out that 100 grams of strawberries is way more calories than you're willing to spend. So then I would put back some strawberries and, you know, eat only the amount that I actually want to spend. Um, I try and always uh, look up the food before I eat it, basically because I've not done that a couple of times and then been surprised uh, really horribly with how many calories I just consume. It's surprising, like, how fast calories add up and then like what they're hidden in or you know if you know what I mean but um anyway so for portion sizes when I first started out uh especially when I first first started out I really remember hunger pains I remember thinking like how can anybody live on this little of food this is ridiculous you know etc um, but honestly, your body will adjust. It usually, I would say for me, it probably took like two, two and a half weeks before I wasn't like going to bed super hungry. And I was like, I don't know, used to it. Like, and I didn't, when I looked at my food, I didn't think about how small it was anymore. I, and I started to try and figure out ways to like really bulk up my foods, which for me, that meant like exploring vegetables, something that I, you know, not really done before. So there's kind of ways around eating less. I don't know if that makes sense at all. I hope this helps somebody, and I hope I'm not just like a blathering idiot talking to myself. But you never know, and this is YouTube, so there's a lot of those. I'm in good company. Uh, I hope you guys all have a good day, and uh, if you have any other questions for me, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below, or of course, you can reach out to me on Instagram at wonderwoman.fit, or on Facebook, same name, wonderwoman.fit, or you can uh, message me and add me on my fitness pal, wonderwoman underscore fit. Oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it. Have a good one.